Hey guys, welcome to Tactrix Tutorial. In today's video, we'll learn how to set up FKX theme on Shopify. It is a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. So let's dive right in. So today, we'll walk you through the process of installing and customizing a theme for your Shopify store. And before we get started to this, we're gonna go ahead and do a quick overview onto what is Shopify first. If you're not familiar with Shopify, this is a popular e-commerce platform that enables businesses to create and manage their online store. So it provides a user-friendly, customizable, and comprehensive solution for selling products or services online. So it offers a range of features, including website design and hosting, product management, and payment processing, order fulfillment, and marketing tools. And as you can see in here, it is discovered by millions of entrepreneurs. They choose Shopify to build their businesses from Hello World to IPO. So you could explore the world's largest commerce community. It has the enterprise, the plus, the partners, developers, and retail stores. Now, if you head down lower onto their website, you could build an online store, your store, your way. So you could build an online storefront, craft the brand you want, and level up using different apps that you could integrate with Shopify. So you could sell to every buyer, everywhere, using their sales channel. And this is the best converting checkout on the planet. Now going down further in here, you could also see the flexible point of sale, sale to power your retail store. And from first touch to full funnel, you could go ahead and leverage its full marketing site. And for you to be able to get started onto using Shopify in here, you'll actually have an option to start its free trial or login. So you could start for free and that get your first three months for one dollars per month and if you don't have an account yet let's gonna go ahead and do a quick sign up onto shopify so we're gonna go ahead and click on to start free trial so setting up an account in shopify is just easy so here onto the first part you're gonna go ahead and answer this basic question in here so that shopify will help you get set up based on your business needs so i'll just have to click onto the one that you think reflects with you so what we'd like to sell you could choose onto the different things in here also what you plan to sell first so you could decide it later you could also skip this and then just click on to next then right after it will ask you where your business would be located so i'll just have to choose a country or region for that and then right after that it is time to fully set up your shopify account so this is the last step before starting your free trial you'll have an option to sign up with email apple facebook or google so you'll just have to choose onto which platform or website you want to use you'll just have to click onto that and then choose an account so that you'll get redirected onto the dashboard so by proceeding you should take note that you agreed to the terms and condition and privacy policy of shopify now once you have completely signed up and logged in you'll get redirected here onto the dashboard so this is what Shopify's dashboard looks like. So as you can see in here, there is actually a setup guide in here on what you could do to get your store up and running. So since we're just starting out, we have this guide in here. So the first part is setting up your online store. We have here adding your first product, customizing your online store, add a custom domain, sharing details. You'll just have to click onto each one of them so that you'll get prompted to do specific things to fully set up your account. So as you can see here onto the bottom part, we have the store settings launch your online store and also to extend your trial for one dollar per month for three months on selected plans you'll just have to click on to select plans in here to view the different plans that shopify offers so we're currently using the free trial but we have the basic which is the most popular everything you need to sell online ship products process payments and the basics to sell in person we also have the shopify level up your business with professional reporting and more staff accounts in the advanced which get the best of shopify with advanced features in our lowest transaction fees if you scroll down here a little bit you'll just have to click on to choose onto which one you prefer you could also see the different features or inclusions that are included onto that specific plan so that you could go ahead and get your store up and running now going back onto the dashboard you could see shopify's logo here onto the left side a search bar so that you could go ahead and browse through the different things easily we also have the notification and the account settings now going here onto the left side so as you can see we're currently onto the home section we also have the orders products customers content analytics marketing discounts the different sales channels like online store point of sales the apps and the settings and first to be able to get started once we're already here onto the dashboard we'll just have to search for online store in here 
we we'll just have to click onto the sales channel in here so that we could go ahead and select onto the different things in here we have themes blog post page navigation and preference so we'll have to click on the themes in here so that we could go ahead and update this so onto this part in here you could see that we're currently using the dawn theme so if you want to use a specific theme like this one the fkx premium you'll have to subscribe to this one so that you could go ahead and get the zip file onto this one so let's have to buy this one out for example if you want to use the fkx premium theme and once you have the zip file already you'll just gonna head back here and right after you'll just have to click onto this add theme so you could see this add theme button click onto this one and then right after the one that you have downloaded here onto the fkx premium you'll just have to upload the zip file in here you'll just have to drag and drop it in here and you'll just need to take note that the maximum file size for this is 50 mb so once you have uploaded this it will be unpublished by default so you'll just have to publish that one to get it customized now once you have the theme already successfully downloaded you'll just have to customize it so there is a three dot you're gonna see it like this there's actually a three dot in here you could preview rename duplicate download the theme file edit this edit the default theme content and to customize this further you'll just have to click on to customize so you'll get redirected onto another page and onto this page you could go ahead and do some customization so that you could go ahead and make the design truly your own so as you can see onto this editing page you could see the different things in here so the first one that you could see is the section so you could edit the section in here we have the announcement for header and if you want to add another section you'll just have to click onto add section so we'll have an option to choose onto which one you want to add and then right after let's head back here you could see the different templates as well so you have the image banner the text the buttons in here so you could actually update you'll just have to click onto each one in here and you'll get redirected onto another page to update that specific thing now we also have the footer in here you could adjust with that and then right after once you want to add another thing as well we have here the theme settings so if you click onto theme settings in here you could see the logos colors typography layout animation buttons variant peels and pets product cards collection cards and many more and for you to be able to add each one of this you'll just have to click onto this drop down add in or drag and drop an image update it in here add in some icon adjust the colors and many more so that you could update it truly we also have the app embeds in here so this is where you could go ahead and install some apps from your online store so that you could use it onto your customization here onto your theme now going here onto the upper part there's actually a three dots onto these three dots you should be able to see which theme are you currently using so you could get the code for this one so that you could edit using a code you could also edit default theme view content and then you also have the view the view documentation and you could get support now if you click onto this one in here you could choose if you want to have this onto international or philippines or you could go ahead and just click onto default so that it would adjust automatically and to edit this by each page you could go ahead and click onto this drop down so that you could edit the products collection collection list pages and many more and if you want to create another meta object you're going to click onto this one so for example want to go and click onto products you'll just have to click onto that choose a product and since i don't have a product as of the moment into my account there is nothing reflecting in here but if it but if you have there onto your end you should go ahead and do this step just click onto it and click onto the product now right after here onto the right side we have the deactivate inspector we have desktop mobile or full screen so you could choose which one you preview this we have the undo and redo option and the save button if you made some changes onto your design now if you want to go ahead and click on the specific one so that you could update it you'll just have to click onto this one so that it would go ahead and automatically pop up in here so for example this featured product you could update the things in here so we're gonna go ahead and write in here my products onto that easy you could go ahead and update already your theme we could also update the heading size add in some description and many more so for example want to update the specific one you'll just have to click onto it so that you'll get redirected or this one in here will pop up onto your theme editor so you could also remove this section if you don't want to see this for example this one we could go ahead and click onto this you could choose if you want to display your social media accounts you could use if you want to see your icons or your country you could go ahead and choose a language and add in some payment methods so as you can see since we've made some changes the save option is already available so we'll just have to click onto the save option in here to save our progress onto editing our theme so you'll just have to really make sure or pay attention to how these elements look on both desktop and the mobile and feel free to explore the settings based on your story need and that's just basically it on the setting up your Shopify theme for your online store. 
Remember, this is just a starting point. You could always revisit these settings to fine tune your story's appearance. And if you think this tutorial was helpful to you, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and if you have any question, don't hesitate to comment it down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on to our next video.